to start the recording of our Diversity and Inclusion Working Group meeting on April 8th, 2019. Welcome everyone. First item of the agenda is to review action items. I had the action item to put together a description for the Open Source Summit in North America. I did that last week and we submitted our talk proposal. Thank you again, Sarah, for starting the conversation. Sure, happy to, happy to always. Awesome, the second action item on the list was uh, email to the mailing list about fixing the license. And I had sent that out last week and we accepted the pull request. So our repository license is now MIT as it should have been from the beginning. Are you, do you need any more um, prior committers to approve or what was the deal with that? Um, ideally, yes, and you are one of them. I um, did it. But, oh, you did? Awesome. Yeah. So then we just have two, I think, outreachy students who I don't know how to get a hold of. Okay. And we've been talking about it long enough that they could have voiced dissent if they were not in favor. So we're just going to assume lazy consensus. Okay. And if they do have an issue, they can voice it and we can remove their contributions if it comes to that. Okay. The next item is that we activate the DCO bot. So now when any of us makes a contribution to the working group repository, we have to include a developer certificate of origin sign off. The next item is to create a pull request to add the mentorship metric to the repo. I created the pull request this morning. So we do have a pull request done. Let me find this real quick. It's pull request 173. And Sarah, thank you again for starting the conversation on the mentorship metric three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, we've been continuing the conversation and okay. reviewed the metric last week. So we feel it's ready to merge, but we right. should still have a one more round of review on it. Okay. Hey, on that, can you just add a GitHub reference to me on the pull request? so that I know to add it to the metrics repo. I will do that. Thanks. And I'll say it several times, but maybe just like, this is the first time I've ever said it, but kind of moving forward, that would be helpful for me just to kind of identify new metrics that start showing up or worked out metrics that start showing up. You know what I mean? within the working groups. Yep, makes sense to me. Okay. Just as a workflow item. Yeah, exactly. Do. I mean, I can do it manually. It would just be great if there was some, some, some indicator for me that would help. So this time I added a comment on the pull request. Is that enough for you? Or do you want to actually have it assigned to you? I don't want it assigned, just a comment is fine. Okay. I'm gonna write this into meeting minutes.
Okay. I, we do have uh, this captured in the meeting minutes now, and I'll make sure to put it on our handbook page when we get to it. The next action item was to start off a mail thread about releasing metrics. Did not do this. Sarah, you had wanted to talk to Paris about KubeCon session. Yep, and we have not had a chance to connect yet, but I know I still have to do that. And I know there were a few other people we were hoping to connect with around that too. But yes, I'm trying to get that in the next week or so because um, I wanted to, well, I, I want to make sure that the talk is differentiated enough from um, Open Source Leadership Summit. Yep, that makes sense. Thank you for having that on your radar. Yes, thank you. Nicole and Daniel are not here, so we're going to skip this. Um, Nicole and I are still working through the blog post. Um, she's on vacation right now, um, but we have an idea of what we want to write and maybe even split it up into multiple blog posts to keep them focused on one item at a time. One of them is going to be about the goal question metric approach so that we can refer people to it who are new to chaos and they're like, how does this even work? Um, and then more about how we use them and how chaos operates. So that's the action items today. Do we have anything else to review? Mm, that was good for me. Awesome. I'm going to send out another reminder just about good first issues to get involved in, I'm trying to get on the two week schedule with that. So, you know, just look for that. That'll be coming soon. Okay, I'm going to add this. This is good. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. uh, the next item on the agenda, we already talked about with the action items. DSO is now required for all new commits. Just an information point. The next item on the agenda is community bridge. And Sarah, I, I don't know if you saw the email that we were asked if you wanted to be um, added to the community bridge now. And yeah, actually, uh, I think you wanted to bring it to the larger chaos board, correct? We discussed it at the larger chaos board. Okay. And they said, yes, we can go ahead and do this. And Matt right. was taking point on it. So there was an email thread where Matt added asked us for information on um, filling out the form to get added to the community bridge. Did you see oh, this email? I did actually, yeah. So would it help if I took a look at that email, Matt? Because you're sort of yeah. stumped, right? Yeah, I just there's yeah. just a little bit of info that I could use from the group. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, let I'm me gonna... look at it and see if I have thoughts or I'll go back to our product team and ask them to give us the direction we need. Okay, yeah, I mean, I'm happy to do this submission, no problem. I just didn't want to speak on behalf of the DNI work, working group. Got it, okay, I'll take a look at it, yeah. Cool, thanks. Okay, I put you down, Sarah, to take a look at that. And if you need to discuss any of this, of course, just send an email to us. Yeah, absolutely. 
So with regards to piloting DNI metrics, Emma made a proposal and I linked it to it in the meeting minutes. Um, her idea was to define packages of metrics that we can pilot, metrics that we think are mature enough to pilot. And then as we are working with communities and projects to pilot metrics, they can focus on these um, packages that we put together. I think that has a few interesting benefits. One is that we can really hone in on specific metrics. We provide guidance to communities on how to get started. And we can um, estimate how much work it is and learn from this piloting. So the, we looked at this document that Emma had put together last week, but left it at, um, we were not quite sure where to take it last week. I wanted to reflect on it some more. So I don't know if any of you where's, had a chance to think about it. Where's the link again, George? Is it, Jorg, is it in the chat room or is it in the agenda? In the agenda. Okay. Where it says pilot DNI metrics, Emma stock. I can also post it in the chat real quick. So last time, oh, as yeah. awesome. Last time, as we reviewed it, there are a few things that um, we weren't quite sure if it was the way we wanted to present it. Um, Maybe a way to move this forward is to move this into a Google Doc that we can all edit. And then discuss this on the mailing list some more. So, and again, this is the idea here is to help communities or projects um, start considering DNI and maybe these are some metrics to look at first. Is that right? Yes, this is for the piloting efforts that we have. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, moving it into a Google Doc would be great. I think this document's it's a great starter. Yeah, I like the Google Doc idea too, just to... Comment a little faster, I think. Mm -hmm. I like that. I mean, personally, if that's kind of the goal of this document, one of the things that comes to mind is if it's meant to kind of help projects start thinking about DNI within their projects, um, maybe it's worth producing a document that's kind of has a marketing angle to it. That's the first thing that sort of jumped out at me too, Matt, that it's, um, it, I think it, sh it could be great to live in GitHub, but it, there might be another version that could be created based on it once we finalize the, the content. Yeah, almost like, a, like an infographic kind of document. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. Okay.
I think getting the content right is like the first step, but um, yeah. then how it gets packaged up or put together visually, and maybe there's a couple of different iterations of it, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, short form, longer form, yeah. graphic form, in you know, GitHub form, you know what I mean? Who knows? Yeah. Yes, I agree. It's almost like the who, uh, was it Kubernetes that had the pamphlet that was at the leadership summit? There was a, one of the communities had it. Which one was it? Was it the uh, giraffe? Yeah, or? that one. Yeah, that was Kubernetes. Yeah. The children's Guide to Kubernetes or something like that. It was cute, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then the next step is for me to put this into a Google Doc and share it on the mailing list so we can kick off the discussion. Yeah, I think that's great. The next I, item, no, I think, sorry, go ahead. Even like a one page or slide version actually that gets folded into future talks could be a future, um, you know, another way to repurpose this content. Yep, agreed. Sorry to, to interrupt. It's a good idea. I'm going to write this in the meeting minute. Hi, Don. Welcome. Hey, Don. There. Sorry, I'm late. So, Don, we were just talking about the document Emma had put together on describing what it takes to pilot DNI metrics. Oh, okay, cool. So that is the agenda item we are on right now. Thank you. And last week, as we had talked about it, we weren't quite sure on what to do. So I just wanted to give you the chance to comment on it if you had any thoughts since last week. Right. Not that's fine. I was at a conference all week. I'll, I'll admit to not looking at anything related to to metrics or DNI. That is perfectly fine. And I know it's a little bit unfair. You joining just now and me putting the focus on you. So <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next item on the agenda is talking about releasing DNI metrics. And I still need to put out the mail email so we can have the conversation on the mailing list. What I'm thinking about it right now is that we will have to think about which metrics are complete enough to be released in um, in our first release, and which ones we think we can get into a release state, and then work from there. The release schedule we talked about um, on the main mailing list is to have a first draft or release candidate ready in June, at the end of June, I think. And when we look at our criteria for release metrics, um, do we want to look at it kind of by focus area? So if, if all the metrics within a focus area are pretty well defined, then we release the metrics for that focus area. What if we have a focus area where, I don't know, two or three out of maybe five or six are really well defined and the others not defined at all? Does that mean that we wouldn't release it for the, for the focus area? I have a thought. Okay, go for it. Well, so obviously if the focus area, this is my thought, right? But if the focus area has five metrics that are well-defined, of course that is part of the release to me. Um, 
for the second, if there's a focus area that has two out of five, like you're talking about, I would say go ahead and release personally. But that's just me. So. And then my thought oh, go ahead, on Pete. that is to release the focus area with only two metrics and keep the undeveloped metrics in the backhand for future releases. Yeah, I wouldn't show the undeveloped ones on the website. So that focus area would temporarily be comprised of two metrics, even potentially just one metric. Mm -hmm. And the others would say sort of in progress or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could say that. I mean, maybe with that, that would be a caveat that we would just put at the top of the page. Yeah. So they know more metrics will be coming, but in the meantime, we'd want to encourage people to get started. Yep. Mm -hmm whatever level we, we are, we're at so that they can hopefully yeah. or two. Yeah, I like that. And okay. that might be something we could just sort of generically footnote to that, um, you know, for, you know, put a little, little footnote beside metrics that haven't been completely defined and just say that there are more metrics in this area that are coming. And if people are interested, they can look at the um, GitHub repo for for contributions. So it'd be a way to encourage contributions without actually kind of getting into the details about, about which ones aren't defined. Yep. That's, That's great. Just a thought. So I, I heard uh, three different options right now. One is we release only the ones that are well developed and not mention any of the other metrics. The second option is we have all of the metrics listed on the release, but the ones that are undeveloped, while we name them, we put a disclaimer on them that they're not well-defined yet. And the third option is that we put only the well-defined metrics in the release and then have a generic disclaimer in each focus area that there may be more metrics that are under development and linked to the repository where this is work is happening. So I think my thought was number three. That was where my brain was. Only the metrics that are the actual names of the metrics that are well defined end up on the web page. Mm -hmm. And then as I think Sarah and Don were talking about, there's just a caveat that says, hey, there, there are others that are being developed. They're not listed here. If you want to go take a look at what those are, head on over to the GitHub repo and join kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. The reason I like that one is because it is kind of a, a way to get more con contributors. I also like this third approach. Okay, good. I have to drop off. So later folks. Have a good day, Matt. See you later. Bye. The last, so I, is there any other thoughts on releasing DNI metrics? I'm gonna put those in order of rough preference as discussed in the meeting, if that's all right, in the notes. That's a good idea, yeah. Just not to lose that part of the discussion.
Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to make this better and I'm, I'm making it worse. Oh, no problem. I'll just undo that. Okay. I think it's good. It's not clear that that shows a priority. I might do it this way. Just even though that sucks. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for fixing it. <laughs> no, it's a good idea to keep the result of our discussion captured like this. I like that. So with that, the releasing DNR metrics will continue the conversation on the mailing list. And we are on our last agenda item to determine who is going to send out the reminder for next week's call and facilitate. Any volunteers? I will be around the whole meeting. So I could either facilitate or I could take notes depending on what someone else wants to do. I'm good either way. Awesome, thank you, Don. I can help too um, for either role because I will be here next week too. I don't mind sending out the reminder. So that's agenda with reminder and then I would be the facilitator, right, Don? Yep, and I'll, okay. I'll, I'll take notes, that's perfect. Okay, got it, okay. Bye everybody. Awesome. Okay, Thank you very Bye. much. Then any other Things on your minds? Any other things we want to discuss today? I, I have one quick question. Um, for the first release that we're trying to get to in June, is there any focus or prioritization that we should be working on with metrics or just still continue to kind of go in and help out and contribute and give feedback where we, we're sort of inclined to or have interests or expertise? That's a really good question. I wonder, um, and we don't necessarily have to do it now, we could always do it in the next, the next call, but I wonder if we should walk through all of the focus areas and get kind of an assessment of completeness of each one. Yeah, like because th then we could prioritize because if we have if we have one focus area that's kind of half done maybe we prioritize doing that one over starting a new one or maybe we decide that if if one of them isn't doesn't have any definitions at all maybe we want to focus on on the undefined area and define a few of the key metrics mm -hmm. so that we have something in each focus area right I don't know what the right way is to prioritize that but we can have that discussion I think yeah I don't know either that's why I sort of threw it out there but I didn't know if people did want to have an input or had opinions yeah yeah, I think it'd be worth doing that. Yeah, I think it'd be worth doing that in a call as part of the okay. part of the agenda so that we can sort some of this stuff out. Okay. And that would give us some some places to focus our efforts over the next month or two. Right. Sort of a release plan. Mm -hmm. Cool. It's a good idea. Yeah, we can put that on the agenda for next week. And I'm, I can also put that idea in the email that I'm going to send out. Um, so we can get some ideas on the main list, whether, which approach might be better, whether mm -hmm. to try to get at least one metric in each focus area or to focus on the focus areas that are already well-defined and making them more feature complete. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, that would be good. Get some input on that. Anything else? Are we, are we good? I don't have anything else. Well, now. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.